Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. This is Divine Debut. Thank you for being here. These are your readings for August the 1st till the 15th. Hope you all made it really easily through the eclipse, the uh, full moon lunar eclipse in Aquarius, which was massive. Right? We're very much in eclipse energy still. A lot of things are changing for a lot of people. Do know that we're still going through changes, so um, we're sifting through difficult energy still. Um, now the full moon is a culmination, things are coming to light, and um, that energy will still be around for a while. Okay, I'm doing the divine spread today, and um, as you all know, for the people who have been following me, I am pulling a major arcana as the divine message. Right, this is the karma dharma lesson that I will be taking with these larger cards, and then I'm using, of course, the um, the usual divine spread, which I, you know, I will take one card for the middle of the reading the lesson, the Karma Dharma, and then around I will place the rest of the cards. I will have in the description below, in the description box below, there will be the, the cards that I'm using. Now, I'm doing a fair few cards, but not to make these readings too long. You know that the continuation will be on Vimeo, where I'll be taking some Sabilas, like I usually do, and of course extra cards from the tarot deck and also the romance angels um, in relation to love because this is a love and general reading okay I do appreciate all of you that have supported my channel for those of you that are interested in the continuation um, the link will be in the description box below for the Vimeo extended readings um, I want to thank all of you that have been um, supporting my channel, that have been there, those of you that are on Facebook. As I said, there will be a competition um, that will be um, announced on Facebook uh, roughly mid-month of August. Um, so I will be doing, I will be choosing a lucky winner to receive and a half hour reading from me so for those of you that are not um, in my Facebook group uh, do not forget to go and visit me on Facebook like my page and then you'll be able to be in the competition all right uh, I think that's enough in relation to announcements uh, I'd like to say also happy birthday to uh, Leo's the sun is in Leo at the moment. Happy birthday to all of you that have got your solar return at the moment. You are shining. It is your time to shine. And uh, let's see what the first part of August is going to show everyone. Okay, thanks so much for your patience for these readings. One more thing before I go on to the readings. Uh, for the Vimeo extended readings, please give a couple of days extra um, for me to upload them there because it does take a while to upload. So thank you all and let's go on to the readings. Hello dear Taurus, this is Kathy from Divine Devu. Thank you for being here for your August 1st to the 15th Love and General reading. Let's see what the divine message is. The, the lesson, karma or dharma in your life. For August, the universe, spirit guides, and angels. Okay. Taurus is going through, wow, the hanged man. Taurus, I'm going to take one more card because the hanged man is quite a neutral card for me. I know you're hanging in the midst, but what is the important karmic lesson here. I don't think it's patience because you guys are very patient. 
Is it sacrifice? I'm sure you sacrifice a lot. So it's, wow. Okay, it's the card of Leo. This is the sun. Some of you are dealing with a Leo. Okay. Leo is where the sun is right now. So you are hanging in the midst, waiting. Let's see what the rest of the spread shows. So you are what? Sacrificing family, sacrificing anything to do with what you have created. You are being enlightened with a situation, anything to do with children, what you have created, anything that deals with risk taking. Let's see, dear Taurus. Taurus. Oh, okay. Well, this is the right place for this card, right? So the root issue is the King of Cups. Now, in the hidden position that you do not know of is the Four of Wands. The past position, the recent past, is the High Priestess. In the position of the present, you have Uranus, the Tower card. Crowning your reading and this is your primary focus and your goal. So I'm not reading reversal, so obviously you are in a heartache, heartbreak, but you are hoping to get out of that. I'm sure that this card would have been in the reverse. It cannot be a primary focus to get heartbroken. So you are heartbroken. You've been through something. Let's see what the action or advice is. Oh my God. To get these swords out of your back. So there's been some sort of a deception. Now, in the position of what is planetary, the help of the universe and your angels, you've got the five of swords. So, wow. And the final outcome is the emperor. Okay, he's dressed up like Father Christmas. So I would say that we are talking about sometime around Christmas. Stability is coming into your life. Father Christmas is coming into your life. But you're needing to work, work out the energies, work out what's going on at the moment. I see a lot of difficult energy here. Okay, the hanged man, as I said, holding holding the fort waiting to be uh, waiting to be in a position where you are ready to get up and move forward you are literally stuck at the moment and you are waiting for the clarity you are waiting for that sun to shine now this is the sun right so we know that the sun is in leo at the moment so maybe maybe and i'm going to say that Some of you may have been dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. And in the time of when the sun was moving through Cancer, that's when, that's when you started having issues. Um, right now, so for some of you, this could be your energy. If you've got water in your... Um, your moon and your rising sign, you may have like Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, let's say. Nevertheless, whatever the, uh, whatever the signs are, does not really matter. This is the distant past position. So the King of Cups is someone who wears their heart on their sleeve. Your lesson could be not to be so emotional, not to sacrifice so much, and go for what your heart desires, what is true for you. What makes your heart tick, dear Taurus? Maybe that's what the lesson is. Some of you, as I said, could be dealing with a water sign or a Leo. Others of you, you could be dealing with someone who is a Leo sun sign, 
and moon or rising in air so Aquarius Gemini or Libra some of you may have been stabbed in the back okay this is the ten of swords it's as bad as it can get it's time to get up and move on dust yourself dear Taurus get up and move on okay tens break down to a one so this is like the ace of swords a successful new beginning that's what the advice is for you get out of this get out of this a hurt get out of this pain some of you may have been in a triangle situation involved with an air sign or another Leo or water sign now in the position of the present Uranus in Taurus Uranus in your sign is breaking down it is rebelling against what does not work what is not true for you what does not tie in with your energy Uranus in Taurus okay Uranus is like the tower Taurus is like the earth have you seen all the difficult weather you know there's been so many weather climatic um, upheaval and changes and sudden drastic weather patterns if you have noticed this is Uranus in Taurus so the tower is something that's going to come in and shift things for you and this is in in the present position so what you do not value is coming down what you have gotten rid of what you are moving away from you are trying to build something new on this is more in tune with what your core self is all about right so in the hidden position we have the four of wands now the four of wands is a celebration now if this card would have been in the reverse let's say it would have been speaking of a lack of celebration what is hidden for you is that there would have been no stability for you that if you are in a long-term committed partnership or relationship um, you are not at the four of wands which is a celebration right because if this was in the reverse let's say it would have been like the three of wands so you are you would have been waiting for your ships to come in but they're still not coming in which says that there is a, a lack of no celebration here with what you are dealing with in a committed long-term relationship now on another level what is hidden to you and what is not known to you is that there is a celebration coming in there is stability is coming in because look at the future position this is what's the the outcome is that the Emperor is a number four now if you are taking on this energy you are going to be stable you are going to be able to lead and be the Emperor in your life call the shots you've been through what you've been through whatever lessons it is time that you have become so mature that you are you are in the right frame of mind sitting in the right throne to be able to um, to be able to bring in the stability and start building on your foundation now this could be another father figure grandfather whatever know that you are um, if this is someone that is close to you you are in a position to listen they are able to advise you yes they're not easy to get by they can be quite stern and quite rigid but know that coming through like the lessons let's say if this is an archetype you are gonna start to build on your stability here now we've got an Emperor which could be the sign of Aries or Taurus okay or any other fire sign and we've got another water sign here a water sign right Scorpio Cancer or Pisces so maybe the lesson here is to try and balance yourself emotionally dear Taurus so that you will be able to lead maybe there is not enough emotion you're just too focused on business is it 
maybe you've been working too hard on business, right? And it could be your partner that is feeling like this. They are feeling left out. They are feeling as though, you know, there's a sense of hurting here and a sense of completion here. So it, it's as though, and with the planetary, the universe, the angels here are telling you that you've got a battle on your hand. And when we look at this card, there are three people here. If you don't invest more time, more of your time into your emotional stability, your emotional equilibrium, then it's going to be time like someone else is going to come around. You've got competition here. So you've got a fight on your hands. But with this in this position, usually it's a very difficult card. Now I'm not reading reversals as I said. I believe that the help from the planets is that you are coming out of difficult energy. The Five of Swords can be quite tearing, can be quite cutting, right? Something is tearing you apart, but you've got the you've got the divine behind you that is going to help you get through this energy, that is going to help you win over this energy. Now in the recent past we've got the High Priestess and the High Priestess is all about secrets. Now this is the the moon, the energy of the moon. Um, maybe with a new moon. Maybe with a new moon that just passed because this is in the recent past. Maybe things have come to light. There's the light, you guys. See the light there, the electrical uh, spark, you know, whatever this. And I feel as though for some of you there's been a premonition because this is all about believing in yourself and what your higher self says to you, okay, that there is a drastic change coming in. There is major change coming in. And I believe that this is a very good change for you, whatever you are hoping to work through whilst you are stuck and I believe that the universe is having you stuck for a reason. Some of you are hoping to heal, the sun card is also a card of healing, right? Now just out of the blue some of you may have not known that you do have enemies around you that that are showing up uh, suddenly. Enemies, competition, right? So you there's a there, there's a sense of lack of trust here, and I feel as though that's why some of you may have been heartbroken. There's been a break breaking of the trust. And that is very difficult to go through. Okay. So suddenly you've got a battle on your hands. Suddenly you're going through drastic change. But as I always say with this card, this is the, uh, the dust before the dawn, dear Taurus. This is the dusk before the dawn. It is time to dust yourself, get up as I said. Dust yourself, get up and start something new. You've got, you've got stability. This is a major arcana. You've got support from your family, from your, the people who surround you, from your home, your relatives, your extended family, whatever. You are not alone. And you've got all the tools that you need. Yes, you do. So whatever you are going through now is a blessing in disguise. Santa is bringing something good, bringing in something good for you. Having these two cards here, you know, having the sun card after the hanged man for me is lovely energy. Okay, whatever you are sacrificing, there will be a point of healing clarity, warmth, okay, 
Now, this is business. Very strong creativity with the sun in Leo. You've got everything at your at your disposal, dear Taurus. As I said, again, leaving you with this message, dust yourself, get up and move forward. Okay, dear Taurus, I hope that that was helpful for you. For those of you that want to move on to uh, Vimeo so you could see the extended Vimeo reading, I will see you there. For the rest of you, thank you so much for being here, for taking the time out, liking, sharing and subscribing. Do keep well, dear Taurus. Sending you blessings. Bye for now.